Hello and a warm welcome to you from SGT University. I am Manpreet Singh Bajwa, Faculty of Engineering and Technology. Today we will be learning about sorting, bubble sort, insertion sort and selection sort. So before we understand various ways of sorting in data structure, we will go through real world applications of sorting. First, phone book. In this video, we clearly see the specific charges applied on every call sorted with respect to date. Secondly, bank statements. In this video, we see the transactions done in credit or debit with details in a sorted order with respect to date. Thirdly, filling online forms. In this video, we select state and city with a drop down list with respect to alphabets. Fourth, online shopping. In this video, we sort the product, in this case hotels, according to various preferences like price, ratings, deals, distances, etc. Fifth, files and folder. In this video, we have sorted according to initial alphabets of file from A to Z to different type of files. And many more examples are there. So, in this video, we will cover bubble sort, introduction, algorithm, examples and its analysis. Bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm in which we compare adjacent pair and swap if they are not in sorted order. And we keep on repeating this procedure till array is sorted. So we take an example of an array with 5 elements 46, 35, 37, 22 and 10. Condition to check for swapping is if the first element is greater than adjacent element, we swap, else we pass. So we check 46 and 35 and swap. Next we compare 46 and 57 and pass. Next we compare 57 and 22 and swap. Next we compare 57 and 10 and swap. And after pass 1, our heaviest element is at the lowest location. Now pass 2, we compare 35 and 46 and no pass. Now we compare 46 and 22 and swap. Now we compare 46 and 10 and swap. After pass 2, our two heaviest element at second last and last location respectively. Now pass 3. Now we compare 35 and 22 and swap. Now we compare 35 and 10 and swap at three elements at correct locations. Pass 4. We compare 22 and 10 and swap. If n elements, then maximum of n minus 1 passes are available. So pseudocode for bubble sort is swap of adjacent element aj and aj plus 1 if aj is greater than aj plus 1. For loop j lies from 0 to n minus 1 and to iterate the process for passes, from 1 to n minus 1, we loop i 1 to n. Whereas the time complexity of outer loop is n and inner loop is n square. On the other way, it's determining the cost and how many times each step is executed. And taking worst cases of execution of every step, we have C so we have C1 n plus C2 into sigma of n to n minus 1 for n plus 1 i plus c3 into sigma of n i 1 to n minus i for n minus i plus c4 into sigma of i equals to 1 to n minus 1 for n minus i where the highest power of n is n square so worst case complexity is n square calculation done are demonstrated in this manner let's discuss the best case analysis for bubble sort for best case in pass 1, swapping condition will never be executed. So we exit the code.
As array is already in sorted order, only one pass is executed in time complexities theta n. So in upcoming section we will be covering selection sort, its introduction, steps and algorithm and analysis. Let's take an example of an array with elements 5, 1, 10, minus 2, 18, 2, 10, 15. In step 1, we assume complete array as unsorted. In step 2, we search minimum element from rest of unsorted array and if compare it with 5. And swap it if necessary, we found the value is minus 2. So minus 2 and 5 are swapped. In next step, minimum element is searched from unsorted array, that is 1, and placed at correct location. So no swapping. In next step, minimum element is searched from unsorted array, that is 2, and swapped at third location. In next step, we find minimum element from unsorted array, that is 5, and placed at correct location. Again we find minimum element from rest of array that is 10, so we swap. Again we find minimum element from the rest of array that is 10, so we swapped. And the array is sorted. Again we find minimum element from rest of array that is 15, so we swapped. So divide array into two parts, sorted and unsorted part. We find minimum element from unsorted part and keep on adding in sorted part and iteratively array is sorted. So pseudo code for selection sort is this. Comparing minimum and iteratively coming iteration is n square whereas outer loop complexity is order of n. So, average time complexity is in order of n square. On the other hand, we can calculate cost and number of times each statement is executed and calculations are demonstrated with average time complexity in quadratic form, order of n square. In this video, we see the visualization for selection sort. In upcoming section, we will be covering insertion sort, its introduction, steps, algorithm and analysis. We all have played cards. We have 40, 10, 50, 30, 20 as cards. So to sort all the cards, we compare second card with first card and insert it at the correct location. So 10 is shifted. Then we compare 50 with 40. So no swapping. Then we swap 30 with first, 50, then 40 and swap. So let's take an example of array with element 5, 1, 10, minus 2, 18, 2, 10, 15. In step 1, we come up with 5 and compare it with 1 and swap. Then 10 is compared with 5 and no swapping. Then minus 2 is placed at the first position after swapping with all. Next element is 18 and no swapping is done. In next is 2. Insertion after 1 and placed at correct location. Next element is 10 and inserted at the right location. Next element is 15 and inserted at the right location. On the screen we can see the pseudocode of insertion sort. Where every element is picked from left to right and inserted at its correct location in sorted array present in left portion of array. Time complexity in inner loop is n square and time complexity of outer loop is n. Worst case and average case complexity is theta n square whereas best case means low number of comparisons so loop will run only n times so it is in order of n. On the other hand cost and number of execution times are demonstrated resulting in order of n square for average and worst case. So today we learned about sorting. Bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort. In our next lecture, we will be exploring about radix sort, counting sort, and bucket sort. Keep learning.
keep rowing see you next time